So with this triad exercise, we're given the graph of a line and we're asked to find the x and y intercepts. So as far as the x-intercept is concerned, that's simply where the line crosses the x-axis. So if we look at our graph, where does this line cross the x-axis? It crosses at this point right here when x equals 2, y equals 0. So the x-intercept is the point 2, 0. Now the y-intercept, you guessed it, that's where the line crosses the y-axis. So where does this line cross the y-axis? It crosses at this point right here. So the y-intercept, <coughs> excuse me, the y-intercept is the point 0, negative 2. When we're given a graph, it's not that difficult to find the, the intercepts as long as they're at whole number values on the axes. Uh, sometimes if it's if it's in between uh, whole number values, we'll have to use algebraic methods to find the intercepts. Right now we're just being asked to find them uh, on the graph. So it's just a matter of finding where they cross uh, each axis and then determining what those intercepts are accordingly. So the x-intercept in this case is 2, 0. The point 2, 0 and the y-intercept where it crosses the y-axis is 0, negative 2.